Whew. Well, it's gonna be interesting, right? We'll figure it out. <laughs> right on, let's get to this. Hey y'all, so this is my Chevy Traverse. It doesn't have a trailer hitch in it. You know, I, I got boats and I gotta go fishing and I need a trailer hitch. So I gotta put a trailer hitch on this. I've never done this before and I've seen some videos online, so I'm gonna check it out. But you know, those people knew what they were doing and I don't, so let's get this from the idiot's perspective. Um, watch me screw up so I can break my stuff so you don't have to. All right, let's get to this. Right, so one of the things I did order was this trim set. Now what this is, is like they're like little plastic tools to help pop the pieces of the car apart uh, so you don't scratch it. <clears throat> so show you what they are. I don't, I don't really know what they are. It's not my thing. I work on boats. Um, but you know, like it looks like little plastic tools for popping out different pieces. So anyway, I'm gonna throw them back here with my tools that I need. And you know, they said all these right here, there's these things here, I'll show you, that they say you gotta pop out. So there's these things right here. And I guess this is what you're supposed to use. And like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm sure somebody will tell me. And there you go. So there's them. There's this is the left side of the car. This might be good with like a screwdriver. I don't know. There's another one. There's one of these that's got to come out here. They got like a little star head on them. All right. <clears throat> Again, here's some more of them. And like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them all out. It's like a seven millimeter bolt in there. It looks like. All right, another one there, and then a star head down here. So they said they got to come out. And then they said there's some on the bottom of the bumper here. And they also said I got to take this trim off here. This trim's got to come off, they said. That's something else I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, there's a little flip back there. Okay. All right. And I think I got to take that off. There's a 7 millimeter bolt right there. All right, so we got this side. Let's go look at the other side. <clears throat> Again, you know, I bought these little trim tools. I'm probably using the wrong one, but just so I don't screw up everything too much. I don't want to scratch the crap out of it. Okay, there we go. So then you pop it off. You don't want to break it. All right. And then there's a seven millimeter bolt there. So this is a seven millimeter bolt, I think. And then uh, we got to take the bottom half of the bumper off too. All right, y'all. So I looked into this. These are seven millimeters. I got my seven millimeter we got to remove these got my ratchet and there's a star head here and i think it's a 20 i got a i got a t20 star head down here and it seems to fit in there so we're gonna go with it all right i got a little extension to help me here hmm, righty tighty lefty loosey i got this nice cargo mat back here i can set all my screws on <laughs> that'll be nice All right, one seven millimeter. I kind of like that. It'll keep all my parts nice and neat. Two seven millimeter. All right, and then the star head. See if it fits right. So T20, I think I got. Yeah, it's perfect. Right here in the bottom of the bumper here, at the top of the bumper. All right, going along pretty good, y'all. All right, over here, I know we got another seven millimeter, so let's check that out. Okay, right behind this uh, trim piece on the wheel, I know we got a, uh, there's a plane if you can hear it. I know we got a seven millimeter here. Kind of a shitty spot, I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty loose though. I don't wanna bend this trim piece too far. It looks like it'll break. Let's just take our time. Okay. Oh, there it goes. All right, let's not lose that. Put it in the back of the truck. So now I know I gotta do the other side and the bottom of the bumper. <sighs> let's go to the other side. All right, there's two more caps up here though. I think this is for the tail light. My tail light's broken, honestly. I haven't even looked for a new one yet, but we'll get to that. Since I got the star head on right here, I'm gonna go ahead and get on that.
again. I'll just put everything right in the... Well, let's not lose it all. Come on now. All right, y'all. So I got the star head out down there. I got the seven millimeter on. Let's take these uh, upper two bolts out. And they say this whole trim piece is just going to fall out. Well, not fall out, but pop off. So be kind of interesting, right? Pretty weird how they make the cars that just come apart like this now. It's almost like they're all bolted together. <laughs> Okay, there's those, and then we got to do the seven millimeter over here on the uh, <clears throat> the wheel flare. All right, y'all. So remember, don't pull this trim piece back too far. We don't want it to break. We just need to bust this loose, which is pretty easy. Did it by hand, to be honest. I didn't even pull on the ratchet. There you go. All right, now they tell me you got to pull some of the pieces on the bottom off. So, hey, let's go check out the bottom, see what we got to take off. All right, y'all. So we got to take this one off right here. So there's two, one right there and one right here. The one behind it's the one holding it. We just take that one off. And then there's one on this side also, right there and right there. Remember, we just take that one off, okay? And then this compartment's here. This is where the hitch will go. You can just pop these loose and it just pumps right out, okay? Then you can see the bumper in there and then no hitch, so. Let's take that one off. I think it's a T15, and that one over there is a T15 also. Let's go ahead and do that. There's one. There's two. All right, y'all, there we go. We got those. All right, y'all, now they say we gotta take these inside pieces and the wheel well out. So here they are. They're on each side of the wheel well. Um, I don't know how good you can see them. There's one, two, three, four. Again, it is the T15, I believe. And uh, you gotta kinda just fit it in there between the tire and the wheel well. Kind of a crappy spot. Get them loosened and then do it by hand I guess my extension just a little bit too long yeah doesn't fit come on yeah just bust them loose unless you have a smaller extension then they pretty much just come off pretty easy there's one I keep them a separate from your other stuff. You know, they're keep them separate from your other stuff. They're a little different uh, size than the ones that were on the back side of the bumper. So I don't want to mix them up. They look the same. So keep your two, T15 size and your, your T20 size separate. There we go. Just got to get them loosened up and then they they come out pretty good. All right, let's go to the other side. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got these four on this side to do now. Remember, loosen them up. It's a T15. It's a little bit smaller than the T20s you were using in the back. So don't get them mixed up because you want to make sure you put the right ones back in the right places. All right. Now they say this whole thing will just pop off with the trim tools. I guess we're gonna find out. All right, y'all, so at this point, it kinda looks like they just get their trim tool and work it inside here. I'm not sure exactly how. Take my time. Work around, I guess. Start on this side. It's dangerous. Be super careful. I'm gonna break something.
Okay, here we go. Okay, let's go slow. Okay. Okay, come on, you gotta kinda put the flat side in and I'm pushing down. Push down. There we go. Alright. I think we got something here. See why it's so important to have plastic trim tools now. You'd scratch the crap out of this. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna stop for a second. I don't want to force that. I want to look at it a little closer. All right, y'all, so what I saw is you gotta really push down and away from the vehicle. Yeah, that's a pain in the butt right there. I can tell you that right now. Whoa. Okay, had two of them in there to get that. Wow, that was really tough, I'm not gonna lie. Be careful, because you're gonna break that. They make it seem much easier than it is. I thought I was gonna snap it, but I got it. Whew, let's go do the other side. All right, y'all, I'm gonna use the trim tool again. Gotta be careful up here. Um, you don't wanna break this piece of trim either. So, I would just be super careful. I want my other trim tool, what I do with that? Maybe this side. Alright, that's a little bit better. There we go. Just gotta pop them down. Cool. Now, here's the shitty part. There we go. This one came off a little easier. That wasn't as bad. Okay, now. We got to go along the bumper back here. Comes out pretty easy. Whoa! Hey, got it off. <laughs> well, a little quicker than I thought. You saw what I did? I just grabbed it. Come here. There's a whole electrical hookup over here. See it? There's a little quick disconnect right there. We got to pop that off. All right, y'all, I just want to show you this because it was such a pain in the butt for me. This is for the, like, proximity sensors back here, okay? And it's part of the wire tire in this pigtail. This plug goes in here just like that. There's a little red tab on it. When it's pushed up, it's locked in. When you push it back, it unlocks it. Then you got to push the little black tab behind it. Push the black tab behind it, it's tight. And then you push it apart, okay? So be careful. Don't break your pigtails. Something else we got to fix. We don't need that. All right, now I can safely put this out of the way. These are my proximity sensors for, uh, you know, when you're gonna hit something with your backup camera or while you're driving on the road, this car has that. So it's all right, we're just gonna take care and put this stuff to the side. All right, y'all, this is the bumper. It's gotta come off, we don't need it. The hitch bar is gonna go in its place. There's two bolts right there. And there's a couple down there. That's holding the exhaust system on. Same thing on the other side. A couple bolts up there couple bolts down there holding the exhaust system on so what they're saying is before I drop that the exhaust system is gonna fall so I need to put something underneath to support the exhaust system or tie it up so the exhaust doesn't fall so we're gonna start I'm gonna start with a jack stand see if I can put a jack stand on the Y in the pipe on the exhaust to hold it up while I take the bumper off because once I take the bumper off it's going to not have any support for the exhaust all right, y'all, so unless I jack the car up, there's no room for the jack stand. What I've done is turn it on its side and just kind of like using it as a block to hold up the exhaust pipe, okay? So I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna go ahead and start unbolting this exhaust uh, bumper back here in the brackets. 
and that's going to fall it looks like about a half inch drop till it hits the back of the jack stand and then i'm only going to be there for a few minutes so that should hold it in place long enough for me to uh put the new bump the new hitch bumper on all right let's look at this this is probably not the best way i might put a little piece of wood and wedge it up there to make it a little firmer um we'll look at this as we go all right y'all i found the perfect way to support the jack i mean to support the uh exhaust and that's just by putting one of my floor jacks under it so look at that perfect it's out of the way supported the exhaust all right <laughs> work smarter not harder all right, so we got these bolts up top i don't know what they are i guess we should figure this out right i think she said in the video they were 15 and then 10. yep 15 all right so we got them up here on this side well you know i i really would think this stuff would be torqued a lot harder but it's not <laughs> all right i'm just gonna put them right back here in my mat keep track of everything again really thought this stuff would be uh torqued down more it's really not torqued down much at all Bust these loose. I guess, right? This is what's holding on the exhaust. So just pop them off. You can see. So, so these are the two on the exhaust. There's one on each side of the bumper. We already took the top two off up here. We're just going to keep taking it apart. Again, right here in my mat. Stuff comes off pretty easy. Really not torqued on. Okay. Take the exhaust mounts off. All right. go this thing's free Let's take it off and slide the new one in all right y'all should just come off wow pretty simple i got my hitch so draw tight bought it online really heavy duty not gonna lie looks like it just slides right in just slid right into place rated for 5,000 pounds which is what the the traverse is rated for too so that's perfect one thing i did notice is when i slid it on the um well i got one problem so when i slid it on the uh i gotta pop these off the exhaust brackets are in the way so i'm just gonna slide them off and then i'm gonna put this back on again that's it man that's it's pretty stinking good all right we're gonna push it in there and put a couple of the a bolt in place to hold it. it doesn't fall on me and uh let's get to putting this together all right y'all let me catch you up on what's going on here all right so the bumper the new uh the new hitch is in place it fits perfect i mean perfect it, it really lined up well um they said some people have trouble lining up these bottom bolt holes right here if you can see them it's where the exhaust goes on um i guess they said you know you know put something in there that ain't gonna mess up the threads and kind of line it up all right this is a little too big but maybe like a thin bolt or you know a thin extension or i think they were using like a pry bar but like a soft tipped end of the pry bar and it wasn't jagged anyway so something i learned here is we have to drop the exhaust and the reason we have to drop the exhaust is because we gotta we're putting bolts inside the frame coming down and we have to put them in there and the way we put them in there is we fish them in with these wires so we put the wire through the hole in the bottom and then we stick it out the top 
and then we screw them into the end of this wire and drag it back through to put it through the hole. Yeah, a little bit of Houdini wire craft going on here. But anyway, they got these big through bolts, uh, carriage bolts with uh, backer plates, um, two for each side. And then uh, the exhaust mounts get new bolts too. They got new bolts and washers for uh, the exhaust mounts right here, okay? And uh, they're gonna go in here with, the, with this exhaust mount but only after we fish these wires through. So these top bolts, uh, top nuts are the original ones. I guess you wanna kinda tighten them down a little bit so that the holes line up in the back. So don't torque them down, but tighten them down. Um, you know, I got a ratchet here somewhere. There we go. And uh, you just wanna, you wanna snug them up, I guess. Okay. And it's just gonna line everything up. Like I said, don't torque them down, just put them in place where we got to put them all right so we're gonna put them in there all right we're gonna do the same thing to the other side and I'm again not torquing them down I got these ones right here all right again we're not we're not torquing them down we're just start it by hand here a little bit we're not torquing them down we're just putting them in place and the reason we're putting them in place is so that we can fish them carriage bolts those right there uh, through this hole here to uh, get them to through bolt into the frame out of the support for this hitch which seems like a good idea because we like the toe some trap so we don't want it coming on undone while we're uh we're throwing something uphill you know <laughs> anyway so let's get the fishing knees in uh you have to drop the exhaust i guess it's a good thing i put it on the jack because i'm probably going to lower the exhaust a little more just so i have some room to work under there uh but i'll show you when we get down in there all right y'all what's well, a good thing i like the fish because that's what we're doing i'll tell you this is some uh interesting stuff they come with these little chase wires okay comes in the hitch assembly parts kit and you just untangle them and you know it's just like a one-time use thing well that's pretty pretty interesting i gotta say i've i've never fished one through like this before um actually comes with three of them <laughs> probably because you lose them or break them anyway so the premise is there's there's two holes under there on each side of the frame and you're going to put them through the hole and you're going to fish this wire until it comes out of that hole right there. Okay. And once it comes out of that hole right there, you're going to screw this carriage bolt and the spacer um, back in plate into this and then tow it back through and bring it down into the hole so you can through bolt it to the frame. Pretty crafty. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you what we're doing here. Let's check this out. Found my favorite part. This is a pain. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's not that it's hard. It's just freaking annoying. All right, there it comes. Good if you had a pair of needle nose to help guide it the rest of the way, but I got it. It's here. Okay. There it is. What a pain, huh? Now I got to screw the bolt on there and pull it back through that hole. All right, y'all. So I got it. This is going to the back hole or the farthest forward one. We're going to put this in there. It threads up really nice on here. I have to admit, it's kind of cool. Thread it in there. All right, it's in. And uh, we're going to put it through the hole here. We got to... And we got to do this four times for the two on this side and two on the other. Once you get it in there, it kind of goes. There you go. So now we got that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull it through right down here. So. Well, everything wants to be a pain in the butt. I know. Okay. There you go. There's the wire. And what we got to do <clears throat> is pull it down. There it is. You see it pop out right there? Now we got to unscrew it. Pretty 
proves to be an interesting part. Okay, y'all. So, I just know I have to unscrew this thing now. Pain in the butt. So I'm gonna ruin this one too, I guess. And the wire I'm talking about, see, so I stretch it all out. Anyway, we gotta put this washer and this nut on here. And that's what's gotta happen. And then I gotta come in with the, the nut. Okay. All right, let's go over to the other side and do the other one now. All right, y'all, so here at the other side, I got one good wire left that I haven't messed up, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna do the back hole first so I can use the good wire for the hole that's farthest away. Kind of weave it on through there. What a pain. I mean, I get it, but pain. Okay, here it comes. I'm gonna put my screwdriver in the hole up here to help kind of fish it to the hole so I can put it in the end there. So push it through. Come on, little buddy. There it is. Definitely do the farthest one before you ruin these wires because <laughs> it's got to be pulled the longest. And then I got my carriage bolt. Take my hand out of there because I gotta thread this on. So we're gonna thread it on. All right. Very nice. So it's all threaded on nice and good now. And I wanted to use this one for, because it's the last one I haven't really stretched out because that farthest hole is gonna be the most difficult. Now close hole, I could probably do with a long pair of needle nose, but I'm gonna try to, I'm just gonna fix a wire to go in kind of good. All right, so put the backing plate in. There you go, little buddy. I have to admit, these, these things hold on pretty good. I mean, there it is, it's out. Look at that. See? There it is. It's already out right there. Now, the hard part's unscrewing this wire. That's where I keep ruining my wires, but then I gotta put the nut and washer on there. And then we got the hole right here I gotta do next, but it's closer, so it's a little easier. All right, so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna put the nut and washer on. See, I'm kind of holding it with my finger too. I don't want it to pop up back inside there. The nut and the washer. Now, the washer's cupped, so make sure you put the cup side up. And then I'm gonna hold the the bolt with one hand and start the nut with the other. I believe these are like a 17 mil. They might be like a three quarter. I don't even know. Once you get it started, the carriage bolts holding in there, so you can screw it down. There we go. Beautiful. Let's hold the torque gun down. Okay, now we just want to do the one up here. Hole is right here. Nice and close. So let's get this one done. All right, y'all, we're just fishing this one through. It's the one front one here. See, nice and easy. It's right there. Um, the wire's a little bent on this one, but I'm not as concerned because it's uh, closer. It's right here. It doesn't really have to go very far. But, you know, take your time and screw it in as best you can. Every little bit helps, but don't pull on it a whole bunch because, you know, 
might not work too good. <laughs> Okay, and then again, we got the cup side of this washer. And the nut. Get started. There you go, and now we gotta torque these all down. Woo! Well, that was the hard part, I think. For the, that was the hardest part of the whole job. Well, the trim was kind of difficult by the tail light up there, but other than that, this was the hardest part. Everything else lined up pretty stinking good. Um, let's torque this stuff down and put it all back together. So a big reason I didn't torque all this stuff down is I want to loosen it back up. The reason I want to loosen it back up is because I want to thread all the bolts in so they all do fit. Do on the other side here if you can't see me. I just want to make sure all the bolts are in. Because, you know, I got four more bolts to put in, and I want to make sure they all fit. So, you know, here's, here is the, uh, the bottom ones go on these mounts. I just kind of want to, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? Because I'm not going to put them on until I do my uh, torquing down there, but I want to start these bolts so that these holes are lined up. And they, they don't say nothing about this, but I put enough crap together to know if you don't line up the threads right in the holes, it's a giant pain in the butt. So basically, I'm just screwing these in by hand to make sure these bolt holes are lined up, because when you torque everything down, sometimes stuff you move just a little bit. And when I go to do my final torque, if I didn't put these bolts in, they might not thread up. And I don't need that kind of trouble. So I put these ones in just by hand, and I'm going to put the other two on the other side in by hand. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to torque these down, I'm going to torque these down, and then I'm going to torque these down with the exhaust hanger on there. Okay? But if I don't line them up now, when I go back to line them up later, they ain't going to line up, potentially. So we just want to make sure we do the right thing. All right, y'all. These are a three-quarter. I'm going to go down in here. I got a long ratchet with a lot of torque on it. Um, you could use like a breaker bar. They probably tell you to use a torque wrench, but I'm way too stupid for that. So we're going to put these in and just metal to metal. You can put a lot of ass on these or, you know, it's just what it is. This one here too. Snug, I ain't gonna lie. All right, let's go do the other side. All right, y'all, like I said, I got this three quarter, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and tighten all these up. And like I said, these are big bolts, three quarter inch nuts and bolts, they can take a lot of torque. And this is an important factor, so you want to make sure you got these things torqued down pretty stinking tight. Put some heat on them, you know, I don't mean heat, but put some, you know, ass behind it here. Some butt, put a little weight, tighten these down, because these things are what's really going to hold this. And they're through bolted into the frame, so. I'm sure you should get a torque spec on this. My torque spec's really tight. That's my torque spec. <clears throat> all right. So, now that we got all that real tight, we're going to put this exhaust back up. So, we got the hanger somewhere around here. There we go. I think this is how it goes. Should have took a picture. Always take a picture if you don't know. So I remember I started these bolts to make sure these holes stayed lined up. And they did. So that's perfect. All right. 
you put the uh, exhaust back on here, line up the holes, and start them by hand. Always start them all by hand so you don't strip them out. All right. There you go. Let's lift the exhaust up a little bit. Whew, beautiful. We got the 17 down here. Ow. All right. I need an extension. It's a little longer. There we go. It's a short extension. See, I got I got tools lying around here somewhere. All right. So we got the right extension. There we go. Perfect. Look at us fixing stuff and all. We're special. Then up here we got the 15, I think. Yeah. All right. Mm. Ooh. Okay. Not too hard, Chris. Don't break something. Don't need to break nothing. Then we got a whole nother problem. <clears throat> Always go back and check everything. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna grab these 17s now that I tighten everything up and check them one more time. <clears throat> All right. Uh. Hey. Whew, let's go do the other side and put this thing back together. We're on this side now. So I'm going to take these bolts out of here that I used to line up the holes, make sure they're in a good spot when I tighten down the first set of bolts. Now we're going to put the exhaust hanger on there and uh, line them up. All right. There you go. There's one. There's number two. Thread them in by hand first so you don't cross thread them. Okay. Well, I guess I fed. That one didn't get lined up. Come on, little buddy. Well, what's going on here? That's why you got to be careful. It doesn't want to line up just like I was talking about. There we go. There we go. Had to work on that one a little harder, but it's in there. Okay. Y'all did something stupid. I took my my right and left in, uh, exhaust hole, uh, mounts and got them reversed. I got my, my left exhaust mount on my right one. The reason I know this, if you look, there's like a little... There's these little... See that bump bump? Boom. Boom. That goes down on the other side not up on this side so this one is for that one and that one is for this one so i got to get them and switch them around see this is what i'm talking about fixing my stuff and breaking it so you don't have to <laughs> all right y'all so here we go i got the other one I'm switching them around now because you know i'm stupid and just the way they got to go in there you know put it back the way you found it as best you can I don't know that would have hurt anything, but it was definitely that way for a reason. So, you need to make sure you do it correctly. All right. Tighten these old boys down. I got these bottom fixed and replaced. I'm going to tighten these top ones down. <clears throat> and then we can put it all back together. <clears throat> so, hitch is on. It's ready to use, to be honest, okay? Right here, there is a mounting plate, which I super appreciate. Um, that is for the uh, electrical plug. I went and I found a nice electrical plug online. Uh, plugs right into the factory um, wire harness, okay? Factory wire harness is literally right here. Check it out, right there, so. All right, pretty cool. Um, super simple. Just pop it in there and go. Pretty shocked how nice and easy that was. That's it, wow. Pretty cool, right? Uh, we're gonna put it in there, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
we're gonna tie wrap it so it's nice and neat. And then uh, I went and I bought a mount, so a low mount, okay? And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna mount it right here, okay? This is gonna go in here, so nice and neat. Boy, it's gonna look pretty, I tell you what. And uh, that'll be it, and it's gonna mount up right there. So it'll be perfect. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get going on this. We got this in, and then uh, what we're gonna do is thread them up. We got the bolt in the hole here, and we are gonna get it going. Uh, of course, I put it in wrong. <laughs> Can't trust me here. It's because I'm trying to get it done now, and running behind all right come on turn it around there you go all right there's one let's get the other side here A lot harder than it looks to get your fingers up in there, I tell you. There we go. Alright, and then what we got is a nice uh, deep well socket. This is the 5 16 or an 8 millimeter. Torque these down. Okay, same thing on the other side. Very good. Beautiful. And then these just, just plugs right in. So let's see if we can get it through the wire mess here and plug it in. Okay, look at that. Nice and neat. We're just gonna tie wrap this all together and uh, we'll be done. Pretty slick stuff. Where's our tie wraps? Oh, here's our tie wraps. Look at that, all right. Got some nice long ones that'll go around the hitch. I'm gonna tie wrap this into place just to hold it right now. I don't know where the bolts are for this, gotta look for them. All right, so we're gonna take this right here. We got this nice long tie wrap. Perfect. Couple more. I think I'm gonna keep it up top away from the exhaust to begin with here. Okay. All right, another one right there. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm going to put one more right here just to keep everything nice and tight. Cool. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Now this will all be covered up. Put a bolt in there and we're going to put this all back together. <laughs> it looks great. Nice and professional. Looks beautiful. Y'all, you know, now that it's all up in there good, let's uh, cut these uh, extra ends off of our tie wraps. And let's put everything back together. All right, look good. We're gonna bring this all back over now, okay? 
We got uh, the whole thing here. And just gonna bring it in. We gotta plug our, our sensors back in here. Trying to like uh, get it started here. Or not. See if I can break some stuff, huh? Probably a two person job, I won't lie. Harder than it looks, I ain't gonna lie. All right, y'all, we got it. Back there, the seven millimeter. Seven millimeter. Just gonna put them back right here. Seven millimeters up top and the T20 on the bottom. Same thing on the other side. All right. And then the seven millimeters up top. Not too bad. Seven millimeter on the bottom. These little caps pop right back in. Gonna make sure I got these good and tight. Want everything in there good. Okay. Where's a little cap? They just pop right back in. Remember, we got one right here. All right, yo, remember we got one more seven millimeter. And then we just pop that back in. Don't over tighten these screws, they'll crack the plastic. Okay, look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's just do the back here. We got two 15 star heads on the bottom and that's it, we're done. So this project is pretty much done. Yeah, I'm a little cleaner than I was before. I had to stop, but we're gonna finish now. Everything's all back together. The only thing we gotta do is we gotta Put these um, screws in on the wheel wells in the bottom. So we got two here in the bottom, and then I think we got three on each wheel well. All right, so we got two here on the bottom, and then three on each wheel well, and it's done. So let's go ahead and put these together. So there's one, two, three, four. So four on each wheel well, and then uh, and that's it. So let's get to it. Make sure this is all lined up. Well, it sounds easier than it is always, right? There's one. Gotta figure out what I'm doing here, that's all. We got one. <laughs> we got two, I think. Okay. We got three, maybe. Yes. All right. Look at us. And four. Come on, little buddy. Get in there. Come on. I know that's where you got to go. You know where you got to go to. We'll figure it out together. Whew. Come on. There we go. 
There we go. There's the stuff. Get them in as far as we can by hand. The ratchet don't fit in here super good. So, because I got a deep well on there. So, see if we can squeeze them all in. There we go. Come on, little buddy. You gotta talk to it, it helps it. You talk to it, they like to be talked to. All right, moving on. We got one side all tightened up and put away. Let's go to the other side. All right, y'all. Again, let's start them all by hand. Always works better when you start them by hand. These ones are nice and lined up over here. Two. Three. All right, let's do the last two in the back. Got to get these last two in. One there. And another one right here. There it is, y'all. Last one. And we are all done. Check it out. So there you are, y'all. We got it. We're good to go. We got our electrical for our pigtail for our trailer. And we got our, our hitch. And we're ready to tow. Well, the only thing I notice is the cover doesn't fit over it anymore. But you can put a nice step on here when you're not towing or leave the hitch in so your bumper don't get hit. But we're good to go, y'all. We're done. Hey, rock on. Hey, we are out of here. This is great. Subscribe to Chef Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Check it out. You know, together we can do it all, right? Just got to work hard. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.